Uh, okay. So, hey YouTube. I'm not really doing a video or anything new, but at the same time I am. Because, I guess I, you can so called say I did another baby bye. So, I'm just doing a video on that. Like I told you guys, I was going to be ordering stuff and doing videos on uh, my preconception baby buys. So, basically, that's what I'm doing a video on. And I want to show you the bottles that I purchased. Um, I love Amazon and eBay. So, but I got these bottles from Amazon and it was $12. It's a little Playtex drop in the nurser um brand and I'ma just show you them. Well I'm gonna show you one of them. Pretty sure some of you already know what they look like. Um this is the bottle. It, these are four ounces and they're decorated. The drop ins are on the inside. Um this is the nipple looks like and um Basically, you would take the, these are the liners, put it inside the uh, bottle, since you see the bottle holder is empty now. So you put it inside the bottle, and you let the formula go in, and while the baby drinks the milk, the liner collapses. I'm pretty sure you guys heard of these. Um, I'm planning on getting these Playtex, some more of these Playtex, and... Um, the breast flow bottles because I do plan on breastfeeding and um, bottle feeding but I don't want babies to get a nipple confusion which is why you know this big rim right here I believe in bottles like that and um this is the slow flow nipple um I doubt you're going to be able to see the words. Oh, yeah, you can see it. So it tells you what kind of nipple it is around the edge of it. So I had three of these. Blue, green, and yellow. And as I told you guys that um, my friend is having a baby shower, she did respond back. So I will be giving her her stuff. But I am keeping the booties that I brought. So just in case you didn't see the video with those. Um... Me and hubby, well, I like the lion ones, and hubby likes the puppy ones. So, we'll just keep both of them. <laughs> so, um, the lion. I love these. These are so adorable. And here are the puppy ones. I like these, too, but I like the lion ones even more. So, um, those are the only three things that I have so far. I did want to get a onesie. I'll probably do that uh, with my first check. Like, I'm planning on getting a, excuse me, a Elmo onesie and maybe some pacifiers. And that is all. So, um, but the pacifiers can probably wait since I want to best, uh, first feed. And I don't want my child to get nipple confusion, but if they can switch between bottle you know, pacifier and nipple, everything will be okay. So, I don't know about the pacifiers yet. But as I said in my last video, I just tried to make it uh, quick, sweet, and simple. But I guess I'll elaborate on it in this video. Um, Like I said, I went to my ultrasound on the 26th. And, um... Luckily, hubby went with me. He got to go with me. But sadly, he couldn't go um, in the ultrasound room with me. So, and it's very nice in the hospital that I went to. Um, So, I went got my ultrasound done. And she checked everything. At first, she did my ultrasound on top. She did a top ultrasound. And then, um, well, pelvic ultrasound. And then... She went ahead and did my transvaginal ultrasound. Now, the transvaginal, that was very uncomfortable for me. Even though she did, you know, put like the ultrasound gel on it. Or lube, whatever she used. <laughs> it was, um, 
it was still kind of uncomfortable. Like, it was hurting a little bit. But she didn't tell me any of my results. She was just like, uh, she'll send the tape uh, to my doctor and he'll review it. So, um, I was like, okay. So, me being the nosy person that I am. <laughs> Um, since she didn't tell me anything, I tried to go see if I could see something. So she had left out the room. And at the bottom, it was a few pics of, like, my ovaries and whatever she, else she took pictures of. So, um, I'm pretty sure I seen cysts, like, tiny, like, a whole bunch of tiny cysts. I don't know if it was on my left or right. Or if it was on both, but I'm pretty sure I've seen sis, like at least seven of them on one. And they made like a nice little pearl around the outside of my ovary. So, but hopefully my doctor uh, lets me know what's going on when I go back on the 5th. And uh, he or she, I keep saying he, I don't know who my doctor is yet. And um, hopefully I get an update on my blood test results and much more of other stuff to come and like what's going on down the road for me I'm going to be very excited to start you know um getting procedures done to probably help me out and get on medications um as you guys know I'm trying to lose weight but I also want to be put on metformin because I'm pretty sure like I'm insulin resistant. Oops, sorry. I'm insulin resistant, which I found out on the 5th too, I suppose. And metformin helps with losing weight. And whatever the doctor, you know, helps me with, I don't get a cycle at all. So I'll probably be end up getting put on medication for that. I don't know what's going to go on um, on the 5th, but I'll let you guys know. I'm also excited because it's 15 more days until my birthday. So, yeah, I'll be 20. Excited about that. Um, I'm trying to see if I had anything else to update you guys on. But I really don't think I have anything. I wasn't going to tell you about my ultrasound until my doctor's appointment on the 5th. But I didn't want you guys want to leave you guys high and dry. Uh, like, what's going on, why she didn't make a video. So, um, I just decided to do a little quick video to tell you guys what was going on. And I guess I'll update you again on the 5th. If not, you know, I'll always do a video on my doctor's appointment and what happened. So, with that being said... I will talk to you guys later. Um, hopefully, I start uh work with it work next week also. But anyway, that's besides the point. So I'll talk to you guys later. Hope you all have a nice night. Bye.